Hello everyone. Welcome to this series on the history of English literature. And in this video, we are going to discuss the development of literary style in the period between Chaucer and Spenser. Introduction. The period between Geoffrey Chaucer and Edmund Spenser was marked by significant changes and developments in English literary style. This video explores the evolution of poetry and prose during this time. highlighting the decadence in poetic style and the advancements in prose poetry a period of decadence in the realm of english poetry the period following chaucer's death saw a marked decline in stylistic quality this decline is evident in the works of poets such as john lydgate john skelton and stephen hawes Their poetry often degenerated into mere doggerel, lacking the poetical imagination and refined phrasing that characterized Chaucer's work. The vocabulary used was unremarkable, making their poetry seem childish and inept in comparison to Chaucer's sophisticated style. Reasons for poetic decline. Several reasons have been proposed to explain this rapid decline in poetic quality. The most obvious explanation is the sheer lack of talent. There was no poet of sufficient caliber to carry on the Chaucerian tradition. Additionally, the rapid decay of the use of the final e in English played a significant role. In Chaucer's meter, the final e was crucial. and the changing pronunciation of english posed a challenge to the new generation of poets who lacked the skill to adapt the old meter to suit the new linguistic landscape scottish poetry imitation and innovation while english poetry was experiencing a decline scottish poetry was flourishing with a distinct character of its own scottish poets such as william dunbar and Gawain Douglas often imitated Chaucer's style but sometimes took his descriptive allegorical method to excessive lengths resulting in lifeless poems for example Dunbar's The Golden Tag and Douglas's The Palace of Honor exhibit this tendency unique features of scottish poetry despite these imitative tendencies scottish poetry developed unique features a breezy and sometimes vulgar humor perhaps influenced by the rugged environment and the robust character of the scottish people became evident this humor along with the sense of robust independence common sense passion pathos and picturesque imagery can be seen in poems such as sir david lindsay's satire on the three estates Dunbar's lament for the Macaris and the conclusion of Robert Henderson's Testament of Cresseed Prose advancements and refinements in contrast to the decadence in poetry the development of prose during this period was marked by a series of small but significant improvements leading to substantial progress unlike poetry prose did not suffer from retrogression increased practice led to a noticeable increase in skill among prose writers accompanied by a growing appreciation for the beauties of rhythm and cadence one of the most notable advancements was the emergence of the prose paragraph development of prose styles moreover the period saw the faint but perceptible appearance of the three chief prose styles the ornate the middle and the plain the arrival of these styles heralded the rapid development of english prose laying the foundation for the sophisticated prose that would characterize the elizabethan era and beyond conclusion the period between chaucer and spenser was a time of contrast in the development of literary styles While English poetry experienced a decline in quality and imagination, Scottish poetry found its distinct voice with unique characteristics. Prose, on the other hand, 
saw steady advancements and refinements setting the stage for the flourishing of English literature in the Renaissance. This era of literary transition reflects the dynamic and evolving nature of the English language and its literary traditions. So this was the discussion on the development of literary style in the period between Chaucer and Spencer. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other topic. Until then, goodbye and thank you.